It can be a lot trying to find a job out of university whilst trying to do a full-time degree whilst also trying to have a social life. So I hope that these three simple tools will make life a little bit easier for you trying to find a job out of uni. And just a heads up, uh, my context for why I'm talking about this is I found a placement whilst in my third year of university. So while I haven't properly gone through the process of finding a graduate role, it's pretty much the exact same for a placement too. And I obviously had to use loads of different tools to try and find my job. So that's where I'm gonna come from and that's how I'm gonna hopefully help you with you trying to find a job from university. So the first thing is the university careers team or the equivalent for me was the university placement team. At the University of Nottingham, we have an amazing careers team and an amazing placement team. And they are constantly updating a site called My Career. And I'm sure your university will probably have an equivalent website. But this is basically where they keep all of their job adverts that these employers are sending to them. And this is an absolutely great place to keep an eye out for jobs as there are always new ones coming and always new ones being approved every single day. And quite often these companies are sending the adverts to uh, your university because they like the type of people they get from your university too. Another idea is to meet with a careers advisor or one of your placement team advisors and they can so so help you define a little bit better what job you want to find and if you have a little bit of a better idea of what job you want to find it's generally a lot easier to apply to it because it's much easier to write a convincing cover letter, a convincing CV and prepare for your interview well. And I've pretty much always said this but the placement team at the University of Nottingham is genuinely one of my favourite things about the University of Nottingham. They are so lovely, so helpful and they put on an unbelievable number of events uh, that really helped me to find my job. And that leads nicely to my second point which is about attending events. So I think I've told this story before but the only way that I found out about my employer that I eventually ended up working for and will start working for again in October is through an event that the university placement team put on. It was called a post-placement uh, poster event where effectively all of the people coming back from placement that had time to make a poster would do I think a five to ten minute presentation on their company uh, looking at a poster and summarizing what they actually did. And when I was going to this event I initially had a very good idea of kind of what I wanted to apply to which was very much sort of aeronautical or even automotive sort of engineering type stuff. But then one of the guys who used to work for my company presented uh, his poster and he talked about uh, Proslan in such a sort of lovely way in that they were a team, a family where he was already ready to go back after his placement. And just that language that he was using to describe the team really kind of drew me in and made me think, ah, oh, maybe that's uh, worth checking out. And of course the industry that uh, Proslam work in, which is food manufacturing, also appealed to me. I'd not thought about it before, but I absolutely love food and I was like, this could be a great idea. I'd also encourage you to attend careers fairs. As it, it's just great experience just to go around chatting to different companies, getting a feel for what type of jobs are out there, and also maybe even establishing some connections and networking. One of my favorite things that I did to help me find jobs was going to these sort of online events that were put on by Gradcracker. For me, I was applying for my placement during COVID, which is why they were online events and not in person. I'd strongly suggest that you consider looking at these online events as well, as it means you don't have to travel. But they're also uh, look out for these in-person events too. But that leads nicely onto my third point, which is utilizing Gradcracker. Now, I never actually found my job on Gradcracker, but Gradcracker was absolutely the sort of number one place I'd go to for looking for new jobs. And also I was using it as a tool to discover about big companies. So I discovered uh, a lot about one of the companies that I was applying to, which was Siemens. And I went to one of these live streams where they effectively interviewed about four or five people who were in the graduate scheme at Siemens. And they were talking about how they got their job, uh, why they wanted to apply there, what actually they did in their role. And that kind of information is so invaluable when you're going into an interview. And I actually learned quite a fun fact at one of these events. So the one that Siemens were presenting at, uh, they, they told us a fun fact which was at Alton Towers there's a big ride called Nemesis and it turns out that Siemens actually power and have sort of helped make that ride called Nemesis and Nemesis is actually an anagram of Siemens so that's just a random fun fact that I learned at that so if you go to these events you might learn some uh, random cool fun facts and my general tip when it comes to sort of looking at these careers pages like Gradcracker and my career is only maybe have a handful of the ones that you check regularly. It can be quite addictive to check tens of different pages, but quite often I think uh, companies will advertise the same job on multiple different platforms. So it can be helpful maybe just to refine your search just to a handful of, of websites. Uh, and I'd obviously strongly recommend Gradcracker and also your university careers page. So I've made a whole playlist that focuses around the idea of careers, particularly early careers. 
so you can check that out if you are interested in more of these types of videos. One of the things I'm most proud of though in that playlist is all of the interviews that I did with placement students who were currently on their year-long placement and I just unpacked with them what their role actually entailed, what did they do uh, and how did they get the job. And I think it's actually quite an invaluable resource for you if you're looking for a job just to see what these jobs actually involve and maybe how they got those jobs. So I hope you'll check that out if you're interested. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next video.